Next, we are going to talk about all the options and possibilities that we have to create a .NET MAUI application. First of all, we are going to start with probably one of the most typical ways that is used using Visual Studio. Once you have installed Visual Studio and installed everything related with .NET MAUI, we can just tap the create a new project and we can just search by MAUI and we have three different project templates. Net MAUI application will create an empty .NET MAUI application. In fact, it's not empty at all. It's just including a small sample that uh, have a counter that will just uh, increase a counter just tapping a button. Then we can create again an empty application using .NET MAUI for Blazor. And we can create an empty .NET MAUI class library. So for example, we can use select .NET MAUI, tap the nest, put in a name, select the target, for example, .NET 6 or .NET 7, and tap in create. Voila, we will have our .NET MAUI application. As I said, it's used a small layout with, uh, you know, the .NET bot and a button that uh, will increase a counter every time that the button is tapped. So this is simple. The second way that we have to create .NET MAUI project is using a command line. We can go, for example, in this case, we can use the .NET new MAUI command. So for example, I'm going to create a new folder that will be called uh, MAUI sample project. And I'm going to this folder, Maui sample project, and then the command to create a new project is .NET new Maui. This will use the .NET Maui application uh, template and will create a new project. If we do something like a dir to see the content, we can see that we have all the folder, the solution, the project, the Maui program class that we have here, the main page that we have here, PubShell, and all the subfolders like platforms, properties, resources, etc. There are more options to create projects in a more uh, complex or detailed way. Like, for example, you can install a new Visual Studio extension called Maui App Accelerator. Maui App Accelerator is a, a Visual Studio extension that uh, is focused on create and simplify the scaffolding of the project uh, as much as possible from the project creation. It's a extension created by Matt Lacey. He has uh, released some interesting books, have uh, created nice plugins before that, a, a big amount of plugins for, for Visual Studio. Probably you know some of them like, for example, the Rapid Shamel Toolkit, uh, Wing Wires, and TLS, etc. So, going to this extension, once you install that extension, you will have another option when you search in between the MAUI templates, that is MAUI App Accelerator. This will allow you to, once you choose to create the project, the .NET MAUI project, you will follow a wizard where you can choose between the .NET MAUI version. I'm going to use the last version. Then we can continue to choose the coding style. If we want to define the UI using the third chart markup extension included in the toolkit, you can see that the toolkit will be included, just taking a look to the license, or use directly uh, channel files with code behind, or include the MBBN community toolkit. I'm going to include the MBBN community toolkit. What is the navigation pattern, tabs, and flyout menu, blank application. I'm going to create a flyout menu. Then we can create directory page, blank page, list detail page, a drawing page uh, allowing you to define drawing with MAUI graphics, a web view in case you want to embed uh, a web view to display HTML content. Or if you love it, the sample from the default template, you can include a page with that sample or a page using localization, etc. Then you can include new features like libraries or testing that will create a secondary project with a reference to XUnit and to our project. And once we press the create project button, 
this will create something more complex because we'll define the page that we specify, we'll include the reference that we wanted, we'll define, you know, the coding style that we are going to use, the markup extension or shaml file, etc. etc. Voila, here we have our testing project. We can see code related with the markup extensions to localize size in a easy way or application. So inside the resource files, we have also the strings with a message in English by default and also in uh, Spanish. We have also our view model with a base view model, the main view model associated with the main page that is an empty page. We don't have nothing. And then we have or localization page that we created in the wizard with a localized test that is just using our app resource inside the strings folder in our resource. So if you want another way choosing and co-folding your projects from, from the project creation, it's uh, another easy and really nice way. There are other um, project templates and things that you can find between all the extensions for Visual Studio but these are all the basic options that you have to create a .NET MAUI application using the command line, using Visual Studio, or using some extra option using extensions, etc. etc. If you have learned something new or liked the content, you can subscribe to the channel so that you don't miss new content when it appears. Remember, you can leave your opinion or feedback in the comments of the video. See you soon.